the theory of constraints, uh, the basic underlying idea, is quite simple. Um, it is that when you have something to do, an organization has a, a job to do, whatever it is, whether it's producing something or developing a, a, a product or whatever, it uh, expects to distribute the work ac across its organization equitably, right? For instance, that's what we do in an annual budget. We say that in that department we're going to have 17 people because we've calculated that's about how many we need. Over there we're going to have 25 people because 30 people is too much and 20 is not enough and so forth, so forth right? And when we do that, at the end, we sign in a piece of paper that says we have distributed the work equitably throughout our organization. Oh. That's what managers are paid to do, right? If somebody put 40 people when 20 would be enough, he would get fired or, or, or told off, right? If somebody only put six when they needed 20 and it became a big problem because they didn't have enough capacity, that would also be a problem, right? So annual budgets, for instance, go, uh, are based on the idea that you can, you are capable of distributing, distributing the work evenly throughout your organization. Okay? And once you've done that, it makes management a lot easier because everybody has their work to do, right? So everybody should work all the time, shouldn't they? Right? If, any, if, if there are 20 people there and I said they needed 20, if they stop working, I'm not, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a problem for my company. Okay? And Ellie Goldratt said, that is all garbage. We can't do it. And certainly we can't do it anymore. Maybe at the days of beginning of uh, uh, 1900s, right, when Baton Rouge making the Model T Ford and stuff, where the products stayed on the market in a very standard form for many years, and you could design a factory to make a product, okay, then you maybe could get some uh, fairly reasonable distribution of capacities, okay. But in today's world, what's happening? Of course, I won't go into the, the obvious reasons we all know about why the world is changing faster and faster with new products, new competitors, uh, macroeconomics, uh, Trumpism, or whatever. Right? The, the, the outside demand what in quantity and in product mix and in technology and so forth is just getting faster and faster, right? And yet, our capacities, our, our, the, our cap the, the, the uh, potential we have to install the capacities and the capabilities in a company to do that haven't changed that much. It still takes about the same amount of time to design and build a new process, to hire a new capable person and train them. You know, we're talking about months, years, according to the, how, how technical the, the, the subject is, right? So it's going to take you six months or maybe six years to increase or change a capacity in your organization. And yet the market, the, the demand, what you're being asked to do, is moving faster and faster. Right? So what he said many, many years ago, 30 years ago now, was already fairly true. And now, as far as I'm concerned, it's evidently true everywhere. When I started talking about theory of constraints uh, 25 years ago, we had to convince people that they had, they had bottlenecks and that things were unbalanced. We don't ha hardly have to do that anymore. People come to us and say, ah, we've got a bottleneck here. Okay? And that's not only, to my mind, fairly normal. It is just going to get worse and worse and worse. And to my mind, the theory of constraints is just growing in pertinence from, from year to year because we're no longer capable of distributing the work equitably so that everybody has just the right amount of work. Okay? That's the basic idea, to face up to the fact that you cannot any longer distribute the work evenly throughout your organization and therefore in that distribution somebody's got short straw, la, la courte paille somebody's got more work than everybody else ok and that's all That's all the theory of constraints is about, is recognizing that adapting your, your, your rules, your management uh, culture to, to that idea